Hello everyone, this is Kyle from We Tech Care of You, and today I'm going to show you how you can do a switch statement in Power Apps. Now, I tend to use a switch statement instead of an if statement when there's more than two outcomes in a condition. So instead of doing if, else, if, else, I'll just use a switch statement. So I'll just show you how that works. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to insert a drop down here. And let me just put the items as pizza. And kebab. Okay, so there's our options there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do this switch statement in two different ways. So first, I'm going to put this onto a label. Uh, so let me just drag this. And then this is where we're going to do our switch statement. So we're going to do it in text here. And what I'm going to do is switch. On the value. Okay, so basically, this is the switch. So, that, so what the value is going to be is what we do of the selected value of that drop down. So, for the first option, if that option is pizza, then I want to set the text as pizza. Next, if the option is chips. And I want to set the text as chips. Finally, if the selected option is kebab, then I want to set the text as kebab. And we'll close that statement there. So basically, yeah, the text will change depending on what's selected in the drop down. Uh, so let me just run this. And if I change chips, then you can see the text goes to chips. And if it's kebab, it'll change it to kebab. Now, what I'm also going to do is I'm going to show you how you can do this with a button on select. So Again, it's just the same same switch statement, but you can just use it in so many different contexts. So I'm going to do it on this on select property of a button. Basically, I'm going to do the same again. So switch drop down one dot selected dot value. So the value of what's selected on the drop down, and then first, if that drop down is pizza, then we want to put in what we want to do with the on select. So this is where you might want to trigger something or go to another page, another screen. Just for this example, I'm just going to do a notify. And just do a notify function like that. So the next as we did before, if the option is chips, and then if the final option was kebab, again, change that. I'll just close my parentheses here. Now, again, with the switch, you could just go on and on and on and on. Um, so there's many options that you can do with it, depending on the amount of selections in your, in your drop down. But now let's just run this and test this. So now if I select the button, it's on kebab, so it's going to show the kebab. If I select, change that to pizza, select the button, it'll show pizza. And then finally, with the chips as well, and there you can see that text changing. Now, I hope this video helps. Please like and subscribe to the channel, and take care. Thank you.